that you? Mm, come in, darling. I've been expecting you. Oh, come in. Don't be afraid. <laughs> I won't bite. And you're bound to have a good time. Or my name isn't Elvira. Bye, bye, bye. Welcome to the fun house. It's always fun around my house whenever I have you over. And over and over and over. Oh, if you catch where I'm drifting from. Silly you, I'm talking about having you over for a little movie macabre. Tonight's thriller diller is a little killer called Legacy of Blood. Legacy, that's an Italian word. Like, this is my legacy. And this here, this is my other legacy. <laughs> yes, I've mastered many tongues. And I've even managed to... Excuse me, darling. It could be the phone. Hello? Yeah, well, the same to you, bub. The nerve. Some guy I don't even know just accused me of being bilingual. Oh, where was I? Anyway, legacy of blood. Another biggie right here on good old Movie Mac. I ask you, darling, what could be more exciting? Greetings from beyond the grave. I know, though I can't see you, but from my past experience with each one of you, my timely death has given all of you a chance to heave a sigh of relief. To ashes, dust to dust. Welcome to your reunion. I will be done. And from me, I give you a last farewell. <laughs> Package for the devil. Goodbye, you ornery bastard. <laughs> Your kooky family. If he's saying weirdo, you are even six feet under. You're a freak. Do you know that? Johnny can't be alone with Leslie. I think there's a hand in the refrigerator. Yeah. Come to Leslie. I need you. Gregory, I've told you time and time again, you've got to show some leadership in this family. <laughs> Igor, I wish you would get rid of that thing. Never. Elga? Yes? From time to time, you will use the cane on me. No, let someone else do it. Not me. You shall. And you will. Understand?
found what I found. That's enough for me, Buster. Listen, Johnny. Johnny? What about Johnny? In the fish tank. Dead. Oh, not Johnny. Bronca, get out of here. Now go on. about is a chiropractor and I never want a chiropractor to make a crack about me Ow! God. for those of you who tuned out quote unquote for the past 10 minutes or so here's a little recap to bring you up to date well it seems that family and servants have gathered for the reading of the will of the late Christopher Dean not only was old man Dean late but so was the attorney one thing he's a half an hour late already Hey, lighten up. It's not like this movie's in a hurry to go anywhere fast. After the commercials, it's right back to sleep. I mean, uh, right back to the action. Something's just about to happen. I can just feel it. Something's bound to happen. All the old missing distributor cap routine, eh? And the cut telephone lines? All that's missing now is the thunder. And I guess that sheriff can just give up any hopes of ever being re-elected. And he sure can forget that campaign slogan of his, a man with a head on his shoulders. He didn't seem to be too popular of a sheriff to begin with. He got no respect. And a lot of it had to do with the way he dressed. Did you notice? I mean, did you get a good look at that uniform he was wearing? I can just hear the boys down at Western Costume right now yucking it up over renting that one out. He was so disheveled, he made kindly old pops of the gate look like, a uh, look like General Patton. <laughs> now, darling, it's, uh, commercial time. No fair raiding the icebox for a ham sandwich or, or any of that head cheese. <laughs> I want you to pay attention to what the advertisers He's have to say. alive and well and living in Bellflower, if you call that living. Uh, hey, this is just getting a little too heavy for me to handle. So why don't we just take ourselves what you call a little musical interlude? finish. How they really came up with a swell twist. Sure had me guessing. Sure. <clears throat> I bet when this one uh, played in the movie houses, they used the old cliche, absolutely, positively, nobody will be admitted into this theater during the final 10 minutes of this motion picture. Unless, of course, you have $3.50 in your pocket. And then we just might reconsider. What a dumb movie. I'd call it an insult to your intelligence. If you had the intelligence to insult... I mean, I get paid for watching this garbage, but what's your excuse? <laughs> and is there ever bad news out of Tinseltown tonight? Oh, America's favorite film critic, our own beloved Rita Blabbit in Hollywood, 
has gone into seclusion, seclusion, <laughs> that's right, seclusion, that's what I said, after managing to make all the wrong picks for the Oscar awards. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> the despondent Miss, Miss Blavitt has refused to talk to anyone except her baby sister Trixie. Maybe we can get an update on Rita's condition from Trixie Blavitt right now. <laughs> Easy there, Trixie. Easy, girl. Oh, we're all suffering the loss, too. Rita, come back real soon, okay? After all, what's a movie Mac without you? You shall. And you will. Understand? Unpleasant dreams.